Okay, I'm making this into a separate video because I don't want to only be saying this to people who've already watched the new A Nightmare on Elm Street, and I didn't want to clog up that video with what isn't really only about a movie, you know. I am going to be spoiling the movie in this, but you're not missing anything. Watch my video review of it. I'll link down below if you think that you might be missing, or, you know, ask someone else. Watch, you know, check the rating of it. It's not a good movie. Anyway, in that movie, one person is innocently convicted, or at least thrown in jail. I'm not sure if he was put in front of a judge or what, but I don't know if that it was to counterweight that or what, but Freddy Krueger, for a lot of the time, of the movie, it's insinuated that he might be innocent, and then we find out that no, he's not. I... It's not because it's an anti-climax. That's not my big problem with it that I'm talking about in this video. It's because they spend so much time really making you think, you know, he might be innocent. He's killed by a lynch mob of angry parents who have not checked out if there was any evidence against him. Basically, the movie says that vigilantism is okay. It says, you know, well, they did do the thing, so, you know, they deserve it. And There are flashbacks where we see him insist that he's innocent, you know. He, he seems confused about what they're even thinking he did. And this is a tendency, and I just feel the need to confront it now. There's a tendency in movies and television, American ones, at least, some other Western ones, that seem to insinuate that if someone is caught they're most likely guilty. And what, what, what happened to guilty and to an innocent until proven guilty? Say, I, that was Freudian. It's become guilty until proven innocent, pretty much. People just assume. You see all these, I mean, I only really watch NCIS of the different CSI shows. A little bit of wordplay. But, basically, well, and without a trace, you know, have you ever noticed how much any time someone calls for their lawyer, it's insinuated that, oh, they're definitely guilty. They want a lawyer because they can afford to get out of jail, even though, yes, that does happen sometimes. But not everyone who wants a lawyer is guilty. If you're caught in a situation that looks bad, where, or if you just do not trust that this particular group of law enforcement officials are actually capable of restraining themselves from acting on instinct and doing what they think is... If you're caught by a cop and he's convinced, at least temporarily, that you've done something wrong, he's He's been out all day. He's seen a lot of bad things. He's seen a lot. Of, he's he's been in the force for twenty years. He's seen a lot of bad stuff. He wants someone to pay, and you're caught by him in what looks bad, but what can easily be explained, or what can, you know, you'd call a lawyer because you don't trust. You're in their custody. There is very little to prevent them from beating the crap out of you, maybe even killing you, because they think you deserve it. I'm sorry, but I'd call a freaking lawyer in that instance. Just because someone calls a lawyer doesn't mean that they've actually done something. It doesn't mean that it is what it looks like. And just because someone is taken in by the police, it doesn't mean they've actually done anything. What it does mean is that it looked like they had done something. And yes, sometimes they did. And yes, sometimes the guilty do insist that they are innocent.
but maybe, maybe it's just me, but I am disgusted with this insinuation that anyone who claims innocence, or anyone who asks for a lawyer, is automatically guilty. And that they and that they are trying to avoid being judged. If if the law was always fair, I don't think you'd see anywhere near as many people calling for a lawyer or trying to make sure that they didn't say anything that could get them in more trouble. It's because there are people in the law enforcement that want to make an example out of you, or want to make a career out of you, you know, want to be the cop who got this really bad guy. So, I think that's basically it.